Hey, it's Santo Pixel and Warm Bros fans. Six percent of every year, and tomorrow I'm going to go to a trip to Oregon, so you won't see me make that much videos as you know 2021, but I'll still make videos in Oregon. Anyways, so today I have another thing that's vintage that's also from the 90s, and and you won't believe this. Yep. These are both Bugs Bunny plushes from the 90s. So at first, so yeah, basically, yeah, I have two of them and I got them for my three year anniversary. So yep, yeah, let's check them out. We're gonna start off with this guy. Basically, yeah, all I need to say is that this guy was from the Warner Brothers Studios back from 1995 to 2001 and so yeah these so yeah so yeah basically yeah if you want to know more about this plush then go watch Reef Diver's video I recommend watching it anyway sip so let's get on to this plush shall we let's start with this guy this is the Warner Bros Studio Store Bugs Bunny plush and he actually looks really really cool and fuzzy very fuzzy and the reason why he has a baseball hound is just because well Warburgers made tons of variants of their plushes anyways his eyes look really really cool and i love how they put for on his uh, plastic or iron transfers what have you and his nose kind of flockish look really really good and his whiskers look really, really good it well it is by Warburgers themselves and his teeth um the reason why they look like this is just because it was one of those vinyl materials which is known for coming off very very easy maybe it's best if they if you keep these guys in normal temperatures if it gets too hot, they could crack or easily worse get sticky. And his mouth, I I really love the capture here. It actually looks like if he's happy. And the muzzle, it looks really, really good. It actually looks like an actual rabbit. And and yeah, the covers on look really, really good. And speaking of bunny, his ears look really, really decent. However, there is a spot where it used to be a hang tag, but the previous one of mine will side cut it off. And the body, though, legs being too short, look really, really good. And the body, I love how it's long and lanky. And, yeah, I just love how it captures bugs as a whole. And the tail looks really, really poofy, though it is stuffed. His arms look really good. However, his hands have no glove detail, but the but has the correct four fingers, which it should be. Again, the legs, too short, look good. His feet are nice and big, which it should be. And here's the tush tag. It says Warner Bros. Studio Store, TM, and Warner Bros. 1995. And also with some Lego info. Here, for a quick comparison, here is this Bugs Bunny plush by Six Flags. Basically, here's what a Bugs Bunny plush looked like back in the 90s. And here's what a Bugs Bunny plush looked like 20 years later. And by the way, I did make a review on this guy, so go check it out. Here, this is it, the only size of Bugs I have. I also have this guy. So here, here's a quick story behind this. Um, so I woke up and then I was waiting for the surprise that mom told me. So I run to the living room and then my dad came out the door with this guy now this guy is actually pretty pretty special since since i've been told that that, that he got it for about like 20 dollars and everybody was after him he usually goes up about like 100 dollars nowadays so yeah sure he um he isn't tagged and He's not the best condition, but hey, 
20 dollars i'm not complaining anyways now back to the other guy and i've my been planning to use this guy for videos by the way what bugs do you want me to use it's either this guy or six flags push please let me know and by the way you all know the me what's up doc but i also have to know the me ain't i a little stinker and the hey 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 well, maroon stuff like that and next up is play by play play by play is notorious for making plushies goofy and off mall just look at their nintendo and sonic plushies yeah that's no good and basically they have done looney tunes plushies and they're basically probably one of the best like seriously they have done plushies about like from 1994 to today. Seriously, they have done like different sizes, outfits, and different forms, and even a talking version. If you want to know more about that plush, then go watch Sonic Rocker 55's video. I highly recommend it. And they even done like Space Jam plushies back in 1996. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Cool thing about this, Bugs, is that, well, it's based on a Looney Tunes episode where Bugs is the king. Anyway, his eyes are really, really good. And his nose, well, kind of faded, look pretty good. And his muzzle, I really love his muzzle. Again, it looks like an actual rabbit. And the whiskers, it's still there, but but the but one of them is missing. It's probably from the previous owner. And his teeth, I really love the teeth. And he even has the lines which it should be. And his mouth kind of looks a little embarrassing. Could you imagine his teeth missing? He look like an actual rabbit, though. Um, his crown is a little faded. It was probably one of those vinyl materials. And his ears look really, really cool. And there's also the floof. And also his body as a whole looks pretty good. Oh, it's covered by the outfit, but when you look right here, you can see it looks really, really good. And his arms are amazing. And he has the correct four fingers, which he should be and 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 his legs are long which it should be you know you know the character as a whole you know bugs is supposed to be long and lanky he's like sonic the hedgehog and his feet well his feet are big and really nice and his tail i really love how his tail is poofy and by the way, here's where the tag used to be. There's a hang tag where it looks like that there used to be a tag there, but the previous one of mine, well, sadly lost it. And here's the tush tag. It says Looney Tunes and also, and also Looney Tunes, Warner Bros. 1997. And it was also made by the company Ace. By the way, if you don't know what Ace is, Ace is basically Americans play by play. That's all folks, but question, which one's your favorite? Honestly, I love this guy. I don't know, he's one of my favorite plushies and it's just because well, he fits my personality. So yeah, but question, who do you think I should get next? Save subscribe, I'm here and speed out.